And finally, I will leave you with this touching story. It will shake your heart. There was a man whose name was Dinar. Dinar had a righteous mother who would always advise him and tell him to repent from his sins. But as much as she tried, her words had no positive effect on him. Then one day when he was walking by a graveyard, he stopped and picked up a bone. He was shocked to see how it crumbled, how it crushed in his hand. It turned to dust. The sight of that bone had a huge effect upon Dinar. He began to think about his life and his past sins, and he cried out, Woe to you, O Dinar! You are going to end up like this crushed bone, and your body will turn into dust. All of his past sins then flashed before his eyes, and he made a firm decision to repent. Turning his sight to the skies, he said, My Lord, I now turn to you in complete submission, so accept me and have mercy on me. With a complete changed heart and state of mind, Dinar went to his mother and said, O oh mother, what does a master do to his captured slave after he has run away? She said to punish him, the master gives him coarse clothing and low quality food, and he ties up his hands and feet, so he does not escape again. Dinar said, then I want a garment made of coarse wool and low quality barley and two chains. O oh my mother, do with me that which is done to a runaway slave. Perhaps my Lord, upon seeing my shame and humbleness, will have mercy upon me. Seeing that her son was firm in his request, she done what he had wished for. At the beginning of every night, Dinar began to cry. He would continue and repeat to himself the words, Woe to you, O Dinar! Do you have the power to withstand the hellfire? How shameless you have been to have led a life which has made you deserving the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He would continue upon this state until the morning, turning pale, Dinar's body slowly wasted away. Not being able to bear seeing him in that state, his mother said, O oh my son, be easy on yourself. He answered my mother, let me remain tired for a short while, so that perhaps I can achieve long-term comfort later on. For tomorrow I'll be waiting a long time before my Lord, and I do not know whether he will order me to go to a place, a beautiful place with shade, or to a place of unspeakable horror. She said, my son, at least rest for a while. He said, it is not present rest or comfort that I am seeking out. Mother, it is if I see you and other people being led towards paradise, while I am being led towards the hell fire along with its people. She left him and he returned to crying, worshipping and reciting Qur'an. One night my dear sisters in Islam, while he was reading the verses which states, By your Lord, O Muhammad wasallam, we shall certainly call on them to account for all that they used to do. And he started to think about these verses and what they meant. He cried with such intensity that he fainted. His mother rushed to him and tried very hard to revive him, but he wouldn't respond. She thought that he had died. Looking into the face of her son, she said, O oh, my beloved one, O oh, the joy of my heart, where shall we meet again? But in fact, Dinar still had some life in him. Upon hearing his mother's words, he answered with a faint voice, My mother, if you do not find me on the wide plains of the day of resurrection, then ask Malik, the guardian of the hellfire, about me. He then made a croaking sound and died. After she finished washing his body, Dinar's mother prepared him for the funeral. She then went out and made an announcement to the people. O oh people, come to the funeral prayer of the one who has been killed by the fear of the hellfire. Subhanallah, my dear sisters in Islam, remember that death will touch every living soul and the only thing that will count will be your deeds. So, O oh sisters in Islam, be of those who want Jannah, who wish for Jannah, who dream for Jannah, be of those who work hard. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.